Looking tasty in my Vietnamese bowl, coconut, and I got these in Vietnam too. They're like not, no gluten. I don't remember what they are, uh, but happy day. They got coconut in them and something else, mochi or mochi, I don't know, I don't know. I love them. Hello, it's Doris with Aldi Books, and I'm afraid I'm somewhat of a mid-month book bash fail this month. I've had a strong winning streak, but this month, mm, but it, it, it's only Sunday, so mid-month book bash lasts until Monday, the weekend of the 10th of each month. I don't even know what day it is. It's Easter. I had a, what was that? I had a mommy fail too, because I didn't even send my kid an Easter basket. Unfortunate. I told him and he laughed. He said he forgot it was Easter too. So I did send him a, a box. It's gonna arrive Wednesday. So there's that. Anyway, I took a nap on the couch and I'm uh, feeling a little more energetic. So maybe I will salvage mid-month book bash um or at least catch you up on my life so i had the swine flu <laughs> a couple weekends ago and then last weekend we had five days or a five day weekend for spring break and so we went to vietnam again as one does <laughs> Um, so I will interject that footage after this, and at least you'll have that little random vlogginess. And yeah, and then this weekend I got my toenails done. I'll show you those later and on uh, Friday. And we went out to dinner, which I, did, I didn't, I was just like, I was crabby because I had to work yesterday. <laughs> We're doing admissions. I work for a private boarding school and it's admission season. So we had admission day and they called me Thursday needing extra people because we have so many people wanting to get in our school because we're so awesome. Anyway, so I had to work all day, 8.30 to 5.30 and it just made me crabby. <laughs> I had a good time working, but the fact that I had to work on the weekend made me crabby and so I've been sitting on the couch all day, but we're actually gonna do something now, so stay tuned. But I need to show you my flowers. We got those Friday too, after I got my nails done. Here are the lilies, look how huge they are. Like, look at that, right? Wow. And I got these. I'm really into this dusky tone in flowers, so. And this is what I'm reading. The Sparrow by Mary Doria Russell. It's a um, uh, science fiction, actually. It's not characteristic for me, but it's given off. Um, uh, what was that book I read for the Physics Club? I can't even remember. I'll tell you later. But it's good so far.
They're not fishing. They're fishing for golf balls. <laughs> and it's as so much good. as you can eat. Four so, shrimps. So there's no there's no limit. So cool. Coffee shop. Because this is amazing. Wow. Greetings from Vietnam. I wanted to film with this gorgeous backdrop, but I couldn't figure it out, so I'll just show it to you. Right? Oh. So nice. How close do you think your mom can get before she freaks out? Ooh. Can she sit here? Can she do it? Wow. The clouds blow by. Crazy, huh? That's a hotel. Town center. Karaoke going on. Well, hello. It's Tuesday morning, and I can officially tell you that this mid month book bash was a failure. <laughs> I meant to at least read 100 pages in the Sparrow, which is really good, by the way. Um, but I only landed at 28, which is the exact same amount that I was at the last time I held this up for you. <sighs> what can I say? Life has majorly gotten away from me with the travel and being sick. And now we're in benchmark season. Um, at school, which is quarterly testing of all subject areas. It's quite the big deal. Uh, so yeah, I worked 12 hours, like over 12 hours solid yesterday with only a 20 minute lunch break. Like I'm talking solid, super solid. And then um, I got home and I ate dinner and I I think I watched a couple of videos. I will tell you my watch later list. I got it from 60 down to 25, so I'm pretty proud of that. But I fell asleep on the couch after dinner and woke up and staggered to bed. So, <coughs> excuse me, still not quite recovered. So I will leave you with a cat update. Uh, I have some really, 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 really happy news about the kitties that I know some of you are going to be just so relieved about. So, um, Gabriel's, one of his first babysitters, uh, this boy was, you know, I don't know, 15, 14, he was a teenager, a young teen, um, and when he watched Gabriel, uh, there was about a 10 year difference between the two of them. And he has moved into our house with his wife. They're like maybe 30 now. And they have kept all three of our cats. So our cats have not had to move. <laughs> yeah. So, and to top it off, like, 
he has said that the cats have just brought so much peace to his wife and they are enjoying constructing um, cat towers for them so they can get up into the rafters without you know running across the kitchen counters and they've created little you know sleeping tents for them and uh, their current project is building birdhouses so the cats can watch, you know, kitty TV live. And um, they're building um, swinging beds for the front porch so when they all go out to have family time, they can swing together. So yeah, such good news. And you know, it's just one more time in my life that has proven to me that things um, I'm, I'm taken care of. I'm taken care of, you know. Whether you want to see it as, as fate or God, um, I have been taken care of in my life multiple times, and I have been very, very thankful for it. Um, so, yes, I am blessed. And yeah, so I will add a few um, kitty pictures to the end here. And yeah, thank you all for caring. So I think I'll try to maybe revisit Mid-Month Book Bash next weekend when life is not quite so chaotic. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon-ish. <laughs> Bye.